Hey there, Coach Devin here. I have some thoughts about where we are uh, as a society in general, I'm talking North America, um, with coronavirus epidemic. Right now, you know what, for a long time, things were sort of business as usual. So if I have a contract with you and you don't fulfill your contract, well, then I sue you or I evict you or whatever the, the outlet of the, of the contract is. Suddenly things have changed. And they've changed a lot. There's been an enormous change now. So what does that change look like? Well, suddenly, I mean, for me, my clients, I own gyms. My clients are coming to me saying, Devin, I, I, I don't have a job. How can I pay? You're not even open. Well, obviously, I have to freeze payments for those people. I, you know, And I get it. I understand. And I have to do it. Does it suck? A hundred percent. But I, I also understand that I need to be moral and I need to do what is right. I believe strongly in doing the right thing. Uh, there's a saying that I've always enjoyed, saying the hard thing and the right thing are usually one and the same. This is true in this case. I need to do what's right to take care of my clients because you know what? Why am I going to say to them, hey, pay me anyway? Well, that's not really very fair. However, unfortunately, I am not the norm. There are a lot of businesses out there that are saying, pay anyway. So to give you an idea, I sold my house a few years ago. And I decided I was going to move to a community, in, it's called Bedford, in Nova Scotia. Uh, my kids go to school in Bedford, my ex-wife lived there. Easier for me, the commute and everything back and forth for basketball and everything for the kids was a huge pain in the butt. So I decided, hey, I'm moving. I uh, looked at houses. The, the price of the house that I could buy, if I'm going to buy the same house that I owned in, in Fall River and I own in Bedford, well, the price is going to go way up. And I thought, eh, you know what, my kids are, you know, my, my son at this point was 16. This has been a couple of years. You know, my daughter is, is 12. How long are they going to live with me? Do I really want to own a house as big? And then down the road, I'm like, oh, shoot, I don't even need it. Like, I'm almost at that downsizing phase. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to rent. It's easier, simpler. I don't have to shovel snow, cut grass, got underground parking. Okay. So I've been here about three years now. And not quite, but close to three years. I've been in the same apartment, paying my rent on time. Now, I'm in a position where I am I'm unemployed. I get $2,000 a month from the government, and that's basically what I get. Um, you know, I'm not making any money. My fiance owns a salon. She's closed by government order, too. So uh, gyms, salons, barbershops, tattoo places, we're all closed by government order. So now we're closed. We don't have very much money coming in. So I go to my landlord right away in March. And I say, look, you know what? I'm willing to work with you guys, but I understand right now it's going to be some problems, right? I mean, I, I'm not going to make any money. I'm not making any money. Uh, I can't. I have to choose between feeding my family and paying the rent. I'm always going to choose to feed my family. They basically ignored me. Uh, I wrote them a couple times, just basically like pay your rent was the was the answer. So, uh, you know, I put my bank accounts on deposit only, which means they can't withdraw money. And I figured they'll come back to me. Well, not surprisingly, they came back to me. And their attitude was, we'll defer your rent until July. You pay all your rent in July. So I pay April, May, June, and July, all in July. Okay, but I've been out of work for three months. So I'm out of work for three full months, but I'm going to pay all my rent in one month. I'm like, well, that's ridiculous. That's stupid, number one. Number two, he wrote me this big thing, and this is killing properties I'm talking about. Uh, he wrote me this big thing about how we're all in this together. And you know what? I, I respect that. Everybody's saying that now. We're all in this together. Let's work together. However, he wants, and they want, killing properties wants 100% of their profits, which I get. They're a business. You want to make money. They're getting 100% of their profits, but I'm out of work, and I'm going to lose three months of income. So I do what's right for my clients, and they tell me, too bad, have a nice day, figure it out. Now, given, some people would say, well, Devin, you're still living there. You still have access to it. That's not very fair. How I would comp comment on that, I had a hard time saying that. How I would comment on that is this. I lease my Jeep. I emailed my leasing company. I said, look, I lost my job. What do you want me to do? I, I can't pay. And they said, don't worry about it. We'll tack it on to the end. Okay, well, that's fair. I have my, I, I'm still driving the Jeep. I can still use it. They're not making any money on me, but they're willing to offset and push off my, my payments because they understand, hey, guess what? You're in a position where you're, you're stuck. You don't have income. We're going to work with you. 
That's reasonable and understandable. So I go back to Killam, my, my residential tenant, uh, landlord, and I say, look, I'm on a month-to-month lease. I'm willing to sign up for another year or 18 months or two years. What you know? Let's figure something out whereby I can work with you guys and you guys can ensure profits long-term from me and I'll see if I can make you whole. We're both going to lose some money on this. I'm going to lose some money and you're going to lose some money, but I understand You know, I want to work with you. Their attitude was pay your rent or pay your rent later, but you're going to pay 100% of your rent. This is ridiculous. This is just absolute corporate greed. And the amazing thing is, if this was four months ago, understandably, if I'm a deadbeat and I'm not paying my rent, 100% I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't be that guy that gets a deal or anything else because of the fact that I don't pay my rent. That's not reasonable. However, through no fault of my own, I'm closed. If I could be open, I would be open right now. And I'd still be making money and everything would be fine. But the government closed me, so I was forced to close. I am not allowed to make money, and I have to pay all my bills because Killam says, well, you know what? you got to pay your bills anyway. Who cares? That is, you know, unfortunately, the world is changing. And at some point, we're going to go back to normalcy, and I get it. I'm not saying that I deserve some sort of special treatment. But what I am saying is it's not fair to say Company A, a residential landlord, gets 100% of their profits. All the people, they lose. But other companies are doing the, nor- the moral thing. Yeah, screw them. That's not reasonable. It's not right. I'm calling you out killing properties. You guys are, you know what? You guys make a pile of money. You're huge. Put some pressure on the government. Ask for some help. I understand that you guys want help too. I'm not saying landlords are bad people. I'm saying landlords need to help too. Everybody needs to help because if we are all in this together, which is what we have all been talking about here, if we're all in this together, then we all have to work together. But if the attitude is, I'm going to get mine and you're going to pay and I don't care how hurt you are, well, that's not reasonable. Yes, that was the way things worked before, but it's not reasonable when someone, through no fault of their own, is put in a bad position. And there's lots of people like me. Listen, mortgages deferred. People were willing to defer. All the banks came out and deferred mortgages. There was some time and there was some pressure around commercial rents. But then, you know, government came out and said, listen, you got to work with these people for commercial rents. So then they created a program for that. My question is this. Lot, there's more people renting in Canada and the United States than there are that own houses. We all know that. Just take a look around. There's more people renting. That means there's a lot of landlords that need help. That means there's a lot of residential tenants that need help. And where is the help? Why is it okay for the residential tenants to pay full or the landlord to lose 100%? Why is that reasonable? Well, the simple answer is it's not. And it's being ignored. And the reason it's being ignored is something very simple. It's because of the fact that residents can't band together like small businesses can and put pressure on the government. That's the reason. Mortgages, well, you know what? Banks stepped up to an extent. And somewhat they stepped up and helped. Government stepped up and they did help after having a whole lot of pressure around small business and medium-sized businesses in Canada. But residential tenants have been completely left out. And this is amazing because it's not being talked about. My landlord still collected 93% of the rent. They're a public company. You can Google that stuff right up there. Killing properties. April collected 93% of the rent. So they don't care. They want their money. And I understand why they want their money. But it's not reasonable, fair, or moral to say that someone else should suffer and take a loan like they told me to do just so they can get their profits. That's not reasonable. There needs to be change. There needs to be a difference in opinion here. There needs to be a step up by government and banks to either help landlords or force them into doing what is right and what is moral here, which is helping the people who are out of work. And there's lots of them. There's lots of people that are out of work and are unable to work. You need to help them. You can't just bankrupt all your tenants. You can't just bankrupt 25% or 30% of the country and go, yeah, screw you guys, you lost. Too bad for you. All the big companies, you make your money. Not reasonable. If we're all in this together, Justin Trudeau, which is what you like to talk about, and Donald Trump, which is what you like to talk about. If we're all in this together, do your part. Help small business, help residential tenants, help everybody, and we all move on. Everybody's going to lose a little money here. It's okay. 
It's all right that we all lose a little bit of money. I'm going to lose some money. You're going to lose some money. Everybody's going to lose some money here. We all get it. It's okay if we all lose some money, but it's not fair and it's not reasonable and it's not moral for one group to lose all kinds of money and other groups to keep maximum profits. Not reasonable. Stay safe out there. Have yourself a great day. Don't fight the awesome.